Welcome to 8th grade promotion. It is a pleasure to have you all here today. Now can everyone please stand for the flag salute. Ready, salute. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may sit. Today, we will be welcoming Site Director, Ms. Rivera. Good morning, ABP families, board members, friends, and most importantly to our eighth grade students right in the front. I'd love to start off by saying I'm gonna keep this short and sweet because the main show is right in front of us. Um, but I definitely want to thank you all for coming in this heat to help us honor our eighth grade students. I want to start off by saying I'm very grateful for all of you. I'm grateful for our eighth grade students um, who work diligently through this pandemic. Thank you to all the board members that are right in the front row over here for allowing us the freedom to teach our students and make adjustments as needed. Make adjustments as needed um, during this year. Thank you to all the teachers I see all over the place who work tirelessly to live out our Aspen mission. And most importantly, thank you to all the parents and families and guardians who've trusted us this year with your students. I'd like to give a huge shout out to our school librarian and a party comes to you for these tents today. This is hard to get with all the graduation promotions going on. Thank you to our eighth grade um, planning committee who, um, this is a whole student event, so student led event. So they are gonna be the MCs, the speeches, um, they helped with decorations and things like that. And enough for me, I'd like to hand it over to our eighth grade students and their teachers, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm super proud of you. I've had a lot of them in my class when I was in third grade, and so and, and a lot of them have been here since kindergarten, so I'm super proud, and I'm gonna hand it over to our MCs now. Thank you. Up next, we have teacher speeches. Um, first, can we have Ms. Nagamini up to the stage? Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Christine Nagamini, English teacher here at Aspen Valley Preps Middle School. And here today before you uh, stands a very special group of bright and high achieving students who are about to embark on the next step of their academic journey. Um, I've had the honor of teaching some of them since fourth grade and we got to take a picture together today so that was a lot of fun and it's really a very special group, I'm so proud. Um, students, I wanna say to you congratulations you have completed middle school. You have forged strong friendships. Uh, you've made your mark on the school. Aspen Valley Prep is very proud of you. And I know that each of you will continue to show the world how brilliant you are. I want you to always remember to take the lessons that you learned during your time at Aspen Valley Prep and let them guide you, inspire you, and remind you that you are Aspen strong. Congratulations. Up next, can we have Mr. Machine for his speech? Good morning. 
My name is Edward Machane. I'm the middle school history teacher at Aspen Valley. To the Aspen Valley Preparatory Academy's eighth grade class, I would like to say congratulations on your promotion here today. You were a very successful class this year. I know this year was difficult due to the pandemic, but you have all persevered and accomplished so much given the current circumstances. I know taking classes on Zoom was very different, not only for you, but for your teachers as well. You have demonstrated outstanding leadership through the Leader in Me 7 habits and have worked very hard and helped to make this school a very good place to learn and an enjoyable place to work. I know that I can speak for all teachers, faculty, and staff that we've enjoyed having you as students and watching you mature into future freshmen at the high school you've chosen to attend. I hope that you can continue to work hard to achieve your goals in high school. Please remember that it takes hard work, dedication, and commitment on a daily basis to achieve long-term success. You must realize that your parents, guardians, and family members want what's best for you. If they're strict, they want to steer you down the right path. If they nag you about your studies, it's because they care about you and want to see you progress in school. You have proven yourself academically here today and have demonstrated your will to succeed in life. I want to say sincerely that I am proud of all of you and all that you have accomplished so far. I wish you the very best in your future endeavors. To close this speech, I want to quote civil rights activist Malcolm X. Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for today. Thank you very much for being my students, and I'm going to miss you all very much. I have spoken, and this is the way. Thank you. Up next, we have Mr. Reese. short and sweet because it's going to get hot in a minute. Uh, I want to thank all your all the parents and families to, that are joining us today. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, thank you so much for letting me teach your children. I know that on Zoom you probably heard, you were probably like, who is this weirdo trying to teach my children some science? Uh, so thank you for sticking with me. Uh, to my students, uh, I will never forget you uh, or your class. You guys, I'm sorry, I told them I was in a roast all of them, so they're waiting for it. <laughs> to my students, I would never forget you. Uh, one thing that I'm, uh, the most I'm proud of you, the most thing that I'm proud of you for is the bonds that you created, uh, even through Zoom. I remember the first day back, uh, the first couple of minutes were like, "Who are you? Who are you?" But after that, you guys uh, were like, it was like you guys, or were in class the entire time together. So you should be really proud of that. You guys probably just completed what was probably the hardest year of your schooling career uh, that you're going to have. And you guys did it with grace. Um, and just to show you how strong their bond is, I remember one time I muted them on Zoom because they were being a little rowdy. They came back the next day and had learned sign language to talk, and <laughs> talk to each other. So that was interesting. Uh, we're, we're proud of you. We love all of you. And we can't wait to see what you guys do in the future. Thank you. Next, can we have Miss Day for her speech? Thank you, Paula. I have been so blessed to get to know all of you and your families this year. You're all about to step into a new chapter. High school is brand new, and you're going to make new friends, you're going to have new experiences, but also, with that, you're going to face new challenges. When those times happen and you feel like you want to give up, don't. Simply don't. Keep going. This year, you learn how to overcome obstacles that most 8th graders never have to face. If you think about that, you're strong. You're fighters. Think about it. You started the year at home. When does that ever happen? You learn how to be online students, even if you didn't even want to touch technology, and your parents did too. 
You learn how to face a pandemic with your family, and many of you suffered loss. And through all of that, you survived. You're here. For your very, very touching words, Ms. Reese. Uh, up next, we have Megan Morales for a speech. Hi everyone, if you don't know me, my name is Megan Morales and I've been going to the school since kindergarten and I never left. So today I'm very excited to be graduating and finally moving on to a new chapter in my life. I feel like I've been wanting this for a long time. Today we feel multiple emotions, sad but happy and nervous yet excited because we turn from guppies into sharks and now sharks into guppies. The endless conversations about the memories we have between these walls. As we start back to the beginning, we make new friends, but they will never compare to our old ones. To the people at my cabin at camp, at Sixth Grade Camp, those were the most memorable moments I will ever. I will never forget that last night when we were going to pull an all-nighter, but then ended up falling asleep. To the people that have been here since kindergarten, Adonis, Richard, Lavelle, Paula, Derek, Ajesh, and Hannah, even though I don't really talk to most of you, I will definitely remember you. Thank you to my best friends, Autumn and Valeria, you both mean the world to me. Thank you for being there for me when I was sad and miserable because we had to do S back testing. Valeria, every day you make me laugh so hard. When we had barely become friends, I thought that you were the funniest person I had ever met. You didn't care about what people would think of you. You were always just yourself. And Autumn, you were there for me through my ups and downs, and I'm still very shocked at how you and I became friends over Zoom. Autumn, I don't think I would have made it through the eighth grade without you. Every day on Zoom, you made me laugh. Honestly, online learning was so hard for me, I just couldn't learn. There were a lot of distractions at home. When I went to, when I went to places, people would ask me, what school do you go to? And I would respond with, I go to a charter school. They would get confused and ask, so it's kind of like a private school. And I would tell them, it's not a private school, but it still has the characteristics of a private school. This is because we used to wear uniforms, and the classes were a lot smaller, and we didn't have as many classes. Now I know why these teachers were so strict on me, because they wanted to see me grow from a young little kindergarten girl to a 13-year-old young lady. A lot of people say that I'm very mature for my age, but now that I realize it, it's my parents that have made me into a mature person. I thank them for pushing me to keep on going. Last year I had one more test I had to pass in order to go camping with my family and not to go to summer school. After so many attempts, I still didn't pass it, and I was crying because I thought that I, had, I, wasn't, going, well, I wasn't able to go to camp that year. But then, I, but then the school ended up posting summer school due to COVID. So I ended up going camping and it was so much fun. My parents loved me so much that they would do anything to help me succeed in life. And that is why I'm so grateful for my parents. Thank you to all of my teachers for not giving up on me. Thank you for helping me get through all my years of being here at Aspen. So thank you, Ms. Howard, Ms. Babata, Ms. Perez, Ms. Rivera, Mr. Bergstrom, Ms. Nagamini, Ms. Gearing, Mr. Martin, Mr. Machine, Ms. Reese, and last but definitely not, ne not least, Ms. Day. You guys are such an encouragement to me and my classmates. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Up next, we have Isaias. Uh, I came here from public schools and I had no expectations at all. I didn't really expect the teachers to be so caring as they were. I wasn't really used to that. The teachers here made you want to work hard. They made you want to be better. Even the students here, they just didn't know a thing about me, but still talk to me all the time. I didn't really know how to, you know, fit in. But like I said, they just kept helping me all the time. Uh, some of them walked up to me, I didn't walk up to them. And that's something that doesn't usually happen with normal people. Uh, my friend Liam, <laughs> didn't know a thing about him, but he the one that came to me and started talking and talking and just making me feel better about myself. I didn't really know how to come up here. I didn't write a speech because I had no idea what to say, how to put it into words. But every teacher here is very caring and I hope that if there's more people like me that are scared of fitting in, it doesn't really matter, <laughs> you know. Just come here and be yourself and, you know, Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> Right. 
Up next, we have Valeria. I just want to say I am beyond grateful to be here today with my peers and not have an online eighth grade promotion. My experience here has impacted me in more than can I was able to build a relationship with my teachers and grow and learn with their guidance. This year has been crazy and unexpected. In ways I wish it was different, but in other ways it helped me. It helped me be more independent and go through challenges. On behalf of me and my peers, I would like to thank my teachers for having patience and dedication for taking the time to work with me even after school hours and pushing me even when I felt like giving up. Thank you for your support and helping me through my obstacles. I will miss all of you. Last of speeches, Audra Howard. Thank you, Paula. Hey classmates, I know it's been a long year with the pandemic, but we made it through. I know our teachers may be annoying sometimes, but they helped us get to where we are today. This school is an amazing school and I will miss it. Our teachers have taught us that not everything comes as easy as it seems, but they do encourage you to keep learning from it and keep pushing forward. I am so proud of you guys and I bet that your parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles are all proud of you too. We have hit a milestone in life and it may have been difficult, but we got through it and I cannot wait to see what the future has planned for us or the path that we take later in life. You should never look for success in money because nobody really cares about what you have in your bank account. All they care is about your personality. So treat today as if there is no tomorrow. Make sure you have fun because you're only young once. I wish you guys great success in your life and go class of 2025. Thank you for your attention. Now the MCs. Now we have Trevor for a poem about his favorite show that he wrote for one of our projects this year. Thank you. What is this feeling? Am I dead as I see myself surrounded in darkness like a little kid with the sheets under his, over his head, scared of the monster under his bed. As I wake up overhearing that we lost 25 men as I overhear my comrades say, we haven't lost someone since 4235. As I remember that we still have 25 floors to go. And then we all turn to Heathcliff, the leader of the strongest guild, known as the strongest player in this game. That's when I clicked his HP. Why is it still green? How many hits did he take? So that's it. Izaki Hiko Kaiko creator of this game world, the man responsible for all this destruction. He paralyzes everyone except for him and I, and makes me an offer. If you beat me now, I will set everyone free. It could end now, in this fight. No redo, no restart, no try again. And I'll stand to what? I'll stand to this, I have to win. Thank you. Up next, we have Ash Foster for a special performance.
And now can everyone give a round of applause for our teachers for student promotion. We are going to begin calling names of those who are graduating. Can we please have Munir Arabi, Christian Barajas, Isaiah Bernardino, Paula Ceballos, Christian Casillas, Yuri Corona Zunica, Rosa Chavira Barrios, Aiden Graxton, Ash Foster, Ajesh Grice. Next we have Cairo Gomez, Ava Hatwick, Anthony Hernandez, Aja Howard, Richard Mendoza, Jacory King, Megan Morales, Luis Miguel Mejia, Derek Mothershed, Lily Montes Castillo. Brenda Pacheco Tavera. Kaylee Pacheco Tavera. Autumn Richardson. Adonis Richardson. Liam Robbins. Imogen Sands. Hannah Rodriguez. Christopher Sierra. Noah Sanchez, Lavelle Thomas. Trevor Turnbull, Christian Vasquez, and Jonah Williams. graduates. We want to thank you so much for coming out and there are just a couple of friendly reminders before you go. One, if you are parked here on the parking lot, we would ask that you would please exit in this direction. So you're sitting facing me, that's your left, just like normal out the parking lot. The other thing is that there are going to be picture opportunities. All of the teachers and staff will be around to take pictures with your child if you wish. And we have refreshments for you. There's ice cold water and cookies at the refreshment table. We thank you so much for your support this year. We really appreciate and love all of you. Have a great day. Thank you.